with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first from Sweetwater, Texas, weighing in at 250 pounds, Barry Windham. His opponent from the Far East, weighing in at 265 pounds, the Black Ninja, Kendo Nagasaki. This is the match we've been waiting for. Barry Windham moving out against Kendo Nagasaki. One fall, eight, 10 minute time limit. And here's the match that would fill uh, an arena anywhere. By the way, those of you in Immokalee, watch out. Dusty Rhodes is coming your way. Wait, well, there's Kendo Nagasaki with a quick headlock on uh, Barry Windham, and down goes Barry. Uh, very smartly dropping down. It looked like he might have tried for an hilarious there, but right over the head. And a big high drop kick, and Barry Windham coming out on top, and Kendo Nagasaki bailing out to, uh, to get his win back. Uh, like that's right, Gordon just said the big match is May 11th with headline by Dusty Rhodes in Immokalee, Florida. All right, Barry Windham now with an arm bar on Kendo Nagasaki has him to the canvas. Bill Alfonso, the referee, is circling him and watching him carefully. Nagasaki pulls him back to the ropes. And uh, may I just assure. Uh, all of you out there who uh, follow the career of uh, Barry Windham, uh, he is not on the steroids as uh, superstar Billy Graham accused him of. He is not, I repeat. So uh, please bear that thought in mind. Now there's Barry Windham with his full arm bar on uh, Kendo Nagasaki. You, you see the intensity on his face. He's putting that pressure on. The Kendo Nagasaki is a very dangerous opponent, being so well versed in the martial arts as well as uh, professional freestyle wrestling. As Barry with that big forearm right into the uh, armpit there. Well, looks like Kendo trying to take a cheap way of making a counter move here by pulling the back of the hair. Wyndham keeps the pressure on, drives Nagasaki back to the canvas once again. Wyndham boring in with that full 240 pounds across the back of. Uh, Nagasaki and now drives that knee into the biceps and triceps of Nagasaki. He is going to uh, try and render that left arm useless if he can, buddy. Well, it's really a smart thing to do. Uh, a very good, smart KG wrestler will always try and work on the same part of the body. Uh, there is no sense or reasoning to go from a hammer lock to a headlock to a step over toe hole. That way you can never completely annihilate any certain part. A, a smart wrestler always picks out one part of the body and tries to make that a weak part. If you're out without one of your legs, without one of your arms, uh, that's uh, losing 25% of your ability. And when you're in this top professional wrestling, you have to have every uh, part of your body in terrific condition at all times. But there's a, there's a big karate kick upside the upper chest of Barry Windham. Uh, fortunately, Barry might have saw that coming and stepped out. If, if it caught him in the throat, it would have been all over. Nagasaki becoming a bit desperate here and uh, was choking Barry Windham. Nagasaki into that uh, strange spin and latches out. A savant-like kick into the chest. Catches Wyndham in those uh, nerve centers on either side of the neck. These, ori these oriental wrestlers are quite adept at the nerve centers. They, everybody has a lot of nerve centers throughout there. And uh, these little pressure points, you hit these pressure points and it can just about partially uh, and temporarily paralyze that section of the body. Kendo Nagasaki is uh, well versed in that. Irish whip off the ropes on Barry Windham and again, Kendo Nagasaki using those feet so very effectively. And uh, Barry Windham outside the ring on the concrete, coming up rather slowly. What a battle these two have had. Both of these men are main eventers and uh, Wyndham going up on that second rope. Third rope caught him coming off the ropes. Got the pinfall. He got the pinfall. Rough third. Barry Wyndham, who looked like he was in a lot of trouble, caught him beautifully and scored the pinfall. The winner, Barry Wyndham. <laughs> 